Okay, so we're here in the control room and I'm sitting at the computer that runs the live tech software. So this is where you'll be when you are in the graphics position slash the graphics producer position. Um, what I'm going to talk about right now is just the elements that you're responsible for when you are doing graphics. Uh, first thing you want to be responsible for is the credits for the end of the show. You can do that one of two ways. You can do that by creating full page graphics and doing transitions in between or you can create a scrolling, uh, scrolling running credit. Um, you're also are responsible for the slate. Um, what you need to put on a slate, uh, you're going to start with a full page background and you're going to add in the show title, the director, the date, and the take number. And during the show, you'll constantly update the take number each time we have to start over again. You'll also be responsible for lower thirds. You'll notice a lower third just came up on the screen that says my name and title. That is a lower third. You'd be responsible for doing those for the talent, um, possibly a question if it's some sort of talk show, um, any kind of information. It could be a, a phone number, a website. You can use lower thirds for a bunch of different things, but you generally see them where you have someone's name and then a description of who they are. Over the shoulder graphics, all the students um, put over the shoulder graphics into the Dropbox and CC212, but you as the graphic operator are going to be the one that imports those graphics onto this computer and then imports them further into the live tech software. That is your job. Um, and then you'll be also responsible for positioning them on the screen. You'll also need to have a graphics list. What that does is you need to have the script, the mark script, and then you start creating a list as to when all the over the shoulders are going to come in and then when all the lower thirds and, and any full pages and that, that sort of thing. And you'll arrange that list and this screen to match each other so you can easily call up and execute each one of the graphics. And the, the last step is what I just kind of talked about, the execution. When you're building your graphics, you're gonna be using this keyboard and this mouse to, to operate the live tech software. When we are in production, you'll be using the TriCaster keyboard to execute those graphics. D cuts the graphic in and out. So if I call this graphic up by double clicking on it, and I hit D, it will show up on the screen up there. And if I click F, it'll fade it on and fade it off. So those are the two different keyboards you'll be using.